You can't make a spoon that is better than a spoon. What has that got to do with learning? Well, you'll see, because today I'm going to share five unusual learning techniques that are all backed by scientific research. But they might come as a bit of a surprise. These are different from methods I've shared before, like retrieval practice, space practice and interleaving, which you can learn more about by watching my previous videos. Here I'm covering those little techniques that enhance the other methods, the shortcuts, the secrets, the hacks that optimize your brain to learn. And as always, when I share ideas about learning, these have been scientifically tested and shown to be highly effective. They come from the fields of neuroscience, psychology and biology with a sprinkling of philosophy. Are you ready? Well, strap in and we'll get straight to it. Exercise has many benefits, we know that. But is there a single exercise that is particularly good for the brain? Well, according to Professor Damien Bailey from the University of South Wales, there is, and it's the squat. As you move your body up and down and work against gravity during the squat, you stimulate blood flow to the brain, but not just any part of the brain, to the hippocampus. And can you guess what the hippocampus is responsible for? memory and learning. The exercise also stimulates production of BDNF, which I know because I've just looked it up, is brain derived neurotrophic factor. And that in turn stimulates production of new brain cells and new connections. Sometimes it takes me so long to get going, to actually sit down and start a task that once I've done that, I want to push through until the end. And from conversations I've had with friends, it seems like a lot of people are like that. But research shows that if you really want to engage with the subject and become more creative, then you need to take breaks. Ideally, a couple of minutes every 20 minutes or so. And a break isn't scrolling on your phone or watching TV. You have to give your mind space to wander. In what is quite a well-known study, two groups of surgeons performed surgery. One was told to take a five minute break every 30 minutes, and the other group was told just to push through. The break taking group made fewer mistakes and completed the surgery in the same amount of time. Taking a break is generally a good thing to do, but after learning, it's essential because your learning can be disrupted by something called retroactive interference. So your brain needs to rest after you've been learning in order for it to digest what's gone into it and make sense of it. And if you disrupt that process, you can mess up your learning completely. If you want to learn, you need to sleep. It's a complex process. While you're asleep, your brain is busy transferring what you've learned that day from your short to your long-term memory. It's also strengthening newly developed connections and pruning some others. It's having a general tidy up, but it's an essential part of the learning process. And recent research has shown that even a short nap can positively affect your ability to learn. So don't pull an all-nighter, go to sleep. What is self-efficacy? It's how you feel about your ability to reach a goal. This one could sound like self-help claptrap, but there's actually some science behind it. And it turns out that if you believe yourself capable of learning something, and let's face it, you probably are, then you have a much higher chance of successfully learning it. And its effects were shown in a study that took a cohort of elementary children who weren't very good at maths and split them into two groups. One of those groups were given math support. The other group was given math support and support about their uh, belief in whether or not they could do maths. And the students who showed the greatest improvement at the end of the trial were the ones who had the highest self-efficacy. Believe in yourself and you'll succeed isn't just a platitude. There's actually some science behind it. And now we come to spoons. But as you've probably guessed, it's not really about spoons. Umberto Eco was a novelist and a philosopher. And he said this, I've got it written down here. The book is like the spoon, scissors, the hammer, the wheel. Once invented, it cannot be improved. You cannot make a spoon that is better than a spoon. So what's my point? When you're learning, beware of the internet. There's a lot of information, much of it's replicated. There's some wisdom, but there's a lot of rubbish. It's a bit like panning for gold. Go to a library, speak to a librarian and read books. Actually, go to a library and write about the books you're reading. That way, you'll really understand them. What are you doing? I'm learning to tie a tie How? by watching ties. Hmm. Is it working? Not yet. I need to watch more. You probably need to actually practice, you know, tying ties. He should try brilliant.org, the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is where you learn by doing with thousands of interactive lessons on math, data analysis, programming and AI. What do you think is more effective? 
watching videos or solving problems that let you play with concepts. It's solving problems. It's proven to be six times more effective. Brilliant's approach is designed around this idea. And those designers are an award-winning team of people from MIT, Duke, Microsoft, Google, and more. Critical thinking is an essential skill for most technical jobs. Brilliant's focus on problem solving will help you become a better thinker while helping you build real knowledge on specific topics. What would you like to learn? How about AI? With Brilliant's course How LLMs Work, you peek under the hood of large language models like ChatGPT, and you'll understand the concepts powering one of the most important technologies on the planet today. To see what it can do for you, try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days by going to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer or scan the QR code or just click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription.